Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. This pick a card is going to be all about will my luck ever change? For those of you who seem to be down on their luck, whether it be in love, life in general, or even career or financial wise, let's see if your luck is about to change, how soon, and if it will. And if and if we get an answer of no, because I'm going to be using some regular playing cards to give us a yes or no answer, we will actually get some extra guidance on what you can do to turn that no into a yes if it comes up. And even so, if it's a yes, we're going to do some extra expansion anyways, just for some extra healthy guidance for you. Time, yeah, time stamps will be down below as usual. And as well in the first comment for all of my mobile users, I will also be putting the links for the affiliate links for all of the decks that I use in case you like any of the decks that I use during this reading, or you can go ahead and uh, figure out what they are, the names of them, and also um, purchase them if you would like. So your choices today are between the Blue Yarn Yoshi, the Golden Healer Pebble Quartz for some extra love, which is why it's gold, because those help to bring in healing, um, love, abundance, and luck. And the blue lapis lazuli skull as well, because the blue lapis lazuli actually has some gold um, flex in it for like uh, striations and whatnot for the um, compounds that make it. In case you're um, kind of wondering about the lapis lazuli type of stone, it's also a stone that helps you to speak your truth as well and to understand and know the absolute truth. For me is what I find. For others, it may be different. There is more to it than that with the metaphysical meanings as well as with the golden healer. But I absolutely love the golden healer um, crystal as well because it makes me feel a very loving, calm energy. And I just I can't help but like feel completely relaxed when I have it with me. So without further ado, we will jump into pile one. If you need any extra time to meditate on which item you would like to pick, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video now while I'm speaking. And for those of you who have made your choice, I will see you at your pile. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the pile one with the blue yarn Yoshi, let's see what we get for you and see if we can change your luck or if it's going to change. So before we jump in with the yes or no part of that, these messages right here are going to be the tarot view for an overall view and look at your situation and what might be possibly going on. These will be for some help to help you get through those um, issues that might be hindering you and also messages to help, help you to further advance your success with changing your luck at a more rapid fast pace and these will be just some extra expanding messages for a general overview guidance for you so let's see if we get a yes or no so with the regular playing cards i like to do the red and black for a yes or no so if it's more red with what we pull then it will be a yes if it's more black cards then it would be a no so i'm going to shuffle these and we will see what we get So will their luck change? Yes or no? There's one. And we will pull two more. Remember, if we get a no answer, we will be using these cards to also dive in and expand the reason of why we got a no answer and what we can do to get around that and turn it into a yes. So let's see what the other card that was that jumped out. So we've got an even number. So let's pull one more card. And it's a no. So let's find out why this is a no, because I feel like there's a blockage that's blocking you with your love or not love with your luck. And it might be in love for that matter as to why it's not changing and how we can help you to change it. So for the overview, we have dedicated effort. So I think what's most needed to help change this into a yes for your luck 
to change. It's going to take some hard work and some dedicated effort is what I get with this. And a lot of um, work needs to be put in is what I get for this in order for this to come together and for in order for it to change. So I really feel like this is going more towards love based because I'm very attracted to the couple. And I'm also um, really attracted to the words dedicated effort. So lots of work needs to be put in. We have embrace, master, success and growth. And nurture. So we have three major arcana cards. So this is definitely a major situation that needs a lot of help and a lot of work on your end as much as your partner's end. If this is a love situation for you, if it is not, then I feel in order to change your luck, whether it's in life or career type of way or business type of way, I feel like there's going to need to be a lot of groundwork put in in order for this to change and a lot of effort in order to change whatever it is that you seem to be having an issue with at this time in order to turn around and be successful and have a yes so with the embrace card i get once you're able to put enough work in and it have open um expansion i feel like you will be sitting on top of the world because this is the world card. And I feel like all that is blocking you will fade away, especially what no longer serves you will be released. And then that way it will put an end to that cycle and you will have moved on from it. So with the master card, I feel like you need to open up your heart a little bit more and also to open up and expand your mind and be more open-minded about things in order for things to change and to make progress as well in order to, when you're putting the work in have an open mind have an open heart try and be a little bit more lenient and more gentle with yourself as well and try also expressing your feelings a bit more especially if this is a love situation with your partner express to them how you feel and try and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them then we have success and growth, but I'm going to go with the nurture card first because I want to um, touch on these uh, major arcana cards because these are the most important. So with this, I feel like nurturing the situation is going to be what's most called for, taking care of it, giving it some love, some much needed love in order to have growth and expansion between you and your partner if this is the love related side. And if it is a job and life related side, I feel like a lot of self-care and um, positive affirmations are going to be what's most needed to help you put in that work every day. And it must be a daily practice as well as what I get with this in order for things to change and in order for whatever is blocking you to fall away. Alrighty. So once all that is done, we have success and growth. So all that will ultimately lead to your success and growth in all of this in your love life, in your general life, and in your business and career. And I feel like you will be very abundant and you will have learned so much along the way. So remember that the journey is what's most important as well with this. So for some extra guidance, let's see what we have. We have embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. So with this, take in everything and remain present. And I feel like doing this will help you to move on and be able to see an overview also of this entire situation to put things into a higher perspective because I'm really attracted to the hot air balloon in this and I feel like it will take you very far and a lot farther than what you anticipated or expected as well and I feel like for some of you out there I feel like moving to a different place a different location whether it be city state country whatever what have you I feel like a move is what's going to be necessary in order for things to get going and rolling in the right direction. So if you've been struggling with making a choice to make a move, like literally moving your from home to home or whatever, what have you, it's kind of clarification for you and giving you the green light go ahead to go ahead and make that jump and that move. So we have cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. Use that as an affirmation. If you need to, go ahead and take a screenshot of that so that you can remember that and use that as an affirmation. Alrighty? So, 
Using that as an affirmation daily, I feel will help you very much and help put you into a mindset of abundance and help keep you on track, as well as to remind you if you get into a negative thought pattern to snap you back into reality, try and think of you, think, think of your, <laughs> think of your um, affirmation that we just uh, went over and it should help you snap back into that abundance mindset and to stay focused on the ending goal and to have that growth and expansion that is most needed to help you get through this and to turn everything into a successful yielding crop. So we have rising above. I see only the beauty, only beauty and grace. So with this, having an open mind and an open, and an open heart, as I said earlier, is going to be much, much needed for this in order for you to have growth and expansion and for new life and new love to um, come in and open up for you. And I also feel like doing this will help you to see things in a higher perspective as well and see things in a more divine light and also a more positive outlook on life and things in general. Alrighty. So for the overall messages, let's see what we have. We have reevaluate your priorities. So take a look at what's going on, prioritize what most needs to be done and taken care of first and do those things first. Love wise, those heart to heart conversations, think about what exactly it is that you want to have from your partner and um, put that plan into action with those heart to heart conversations and start there with the expansion of that with telling them how you how you feel and what you want and where you would like to see this relationship go. And then it's, then we have be true to yourself, stand your ground, have faith and trust in yourself and listen to your intuition because I feel like it is a heart matter. Listen to your heart a little bit more. And for some of you who are not in a love relationship, I feel like it is a more logical decision and stay true to yourself and listen to your intuition, put your thoughts over your heart as well. So head over heart decision is what I'm getting at with that. So then we had have look forward. So with looking forward, I feel like keeping your eye on the prize will help you to have that success and manifest everything to your heart's desire. And then we have accept what is dying. So whatever is falling away does not um, serve you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let me get this straight. No longer serves you. So letting it fall away is what's most needed and they are definitely helping you get through this. So whatever seems to be falling away, let it go with love and it will help you to bring in the new and what needs to come in for you to have success with whatever is going on for you. I do hope that these messages resonated. Also, I will be doing some Rebel Deck messages at the end. So if you would like to stay tuned for those, please feel free. For those of you who do not like any swear words or anything like that, that section is absolutely optional and know that you are um, absolutely more than welcome to skip that part. Know that I love you and I will see you guys next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Golden Healer Pebble, let's see what we get for you. So before we jump into the yes or no par portion of this, these cards right here are going to be a tarot overview of your situation to see what's going on. And then these cards right here are going to be some messages to help with these and give an extra expansion of these. And then these messages down here with this Oracle card set are going to be a general overview guidance for you. So let's find out if your luck is going to change with the yes or no portion. So with these playing cards, I like to use the red and black version where if it's more red, then it's a yes. If the cards come up all black or more black with the choices, then the answer is a no. But as I said in the beginning, we will be doing the expansion either way and finding out what is up and turning that no into a yes, if that is what comes up. And then if it's a yes, then we'll be having some further expansion, so. Great. <laughs> Just like in number one, we had four cards jump out and it's a 50-50 toss up. So let's see if we can get one more card to uh, break up this monotony here and get an actual answer. new. No. So let us get that expansion for you and turn that no into a yes. 
and help you change your luck. And we'll find out just exactly what we can do to make that happen for you. So, with the overview with the tarot cards, we have coming together. Open up. Dreams coming true. And throat chakra. So, I'm going to start off with the throat chakra card because that's the most important. All right, with the throat chakra card, somebody needs to speak up. We need to open our mouths and we need to have our conversations that we most need to and say the things that we most need to say. And the only way that that is going to happen with changing your luck is if you do so with opening up your mouth and saying exactly what it is you want or what's on your mind and getting it out there. Spit it out. Gosh darn it. Let's go. So with coming together, I feel like this is going to be more love based. But for those of you who are not in a love relationship, I feel like if you have a crush or current love interest, I feel like opening up your mouth and saying, hey, I'd like to talk to you. Or hey, I'd like to go out and get a cup of coffee or a drink or some dinner or some lunch or some breakfast even. Doesn't matter. Talk to them. Open up your mouth. See how it goes. Even if the um, only words you have to say to them are, hey, how's it going? Or even just saying hello to get on their radar. Get in front of them and see what happens. If you open up your mouth and the conversation tends to go sideways, then that is definitely just... It's, it's fine. It is completely fine because at least then you know that you said something and you know where you're going and where you stand. Because... Maybe that person wasn't right for you. And maybe there's somebody better. So the only way you're going to find out is if if you open up and talk to this person. And for those of you who are in a current relationship, I feel having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your partner and telling them how you feel and what you want out of your relationship is what's most needed with this. Lots of that trending lately with people needing to open up and actually saying what they want and going for it because that's the only way you're going to truly have success and change your luck with those types of situations so with this with the open up this is the four of wands in this deck which i feel once you are able to open up it'll have more stability more alignment and you will be on the same page with your partner as well as vice versa with the other type of situation if it is not with a love relationship. I feel like you will have common ground and you will, you might have a lot more in common than you, you thought as well is what I hear with this. And then we have dreams coming true. So once you've done all that and put the work in, <laughs> your wishes will come true. You will have success. It's That's where it's leading. It is ultimately leading you to success and having the entire universe in the palm of your hands because that's what I'm most attracted to in this card. So for some extra guidance and some help to let help us get there, let's see what we have to do. We are proceeding softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. So even if you're shy at first and you kind of take it slow, it's fine. As long as you have the conversations that you most need to have with this person and you kind of even if you take it slow, that's perfectly fine. At least you're getting to know this person and you're putting the effort in, whether it comes up all aces or comes up crapshoot. Alrighty. But pr proceeding with this gently, softly, and slowly is also going to be what's most needed as well. Oh, and by the way, you can always ask him for a cup of tea if that's your fancy. <laughs> I just had to put that out there because I'm really attracted to this tea set and I'm like I could go for some more tea right now which I do have some in my cup over there so and then we have reviewing your life get rid of all this clutter clear out what no longer serves you and I promise you it will slingshot you into oblivion with success because I feel like it's what's needed to kind of finally push things over the edge and to propel things forward and then it says, radiant vitality is filling my life. Use that as kind of an affirmation as well. You can take a screenshot of that if you like. If I can get it to focus. And kind of think about that and put it into perspective. And I feel like having that kind of like type of an affirmation will help you to 
do a lot of releasing and decluttering of all the mental junk that is no longer needed and to help you get over any shyness and any fears already that may be holding you back from having the love of your life. Then we have embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. So with this going forward, I feel like being more open and susceptible to things is going to be what's most needed to help you continue on this journey and for you to have the success that you most want and desire. And I also feel like being more open to your partners is also going to help your relationships go the extra mile and to have that extra deepening um, level between the two of you for commitment as well. So for some general overall guidance, let's see what we get. So we have raise your vibration. So daily affirmations, keeping positive thoughts is what's most needed and what's going to help you out. And then we have keep your commitments. If you say something and you promise your partner or whoever or whatever that you're going to do something or even yourself, keep that promise. Hold true to it. Um, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's, do what you got to do. But keep the commitment. And then we have change tracks. With the change tracks card, I feel like maybe a switch up in your routine just a little bit in order to kind of like get this person, if it's a love interest, to notice you is um, kind of like something that you might want to try out and kind of what's most needed as well. Change up your routine, change up your habits. Try a different outfit, try a different hairstyle, maybe a different makeup. Just something. Just play around with it. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Add a little bit of change up in there and I feel like everything will work out in the end and I feel like things will just go with the flow after that. And then we have correct your mistakes. So as I was saying earlier, if the conversation tends to go sideways, kind of if you stumble or you say something that you kind of regret saying or you feel embarrassed about saying, it's perfectly fine. You will have another chance to correct that error and kind of make yourself look in a better light and to kind of have what I feel like is a kind of do-over. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and that you enjoyed this. And I also would like to invite you to stay tuned for the end for the Rebel Deck messages if you would like to um, take a look at those. For those who do not, do not like profanity or cussing, it is completely optional and it is completely okay to skip that part. And know that I love you and I will see you next video. And for those of you who like the Rebel Deck messages, I will see you at the end for your extra cheeky guidance. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Lapis Lazuli Skull, before we jump into the yes or no portion, these messages over here are going to be a tarot overview of your situation. These over here are going to be some extra expansion messages for guidance to help with this overview. And then these cards right here are going to be general guidance for the overall of the reading. So with these, I like to do the red versus black type of um, yes or no question. So if the uh, cards come more, more red with that portion, then it means a yes. If it comes up black, then it is a no. So far, the first two uh, piles had both kind of like a 50-50 shot of being uh, yes or no. And then we pulled an expansion card for that to have a breakup of the tie that we got with those. So let's see what we got. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have three red and four black. So that's a no on that end. So let's find out why this is a no and turn it into a yes. Alrighty. Also, at the end, I will be doing a Rebel Deck pull for those who would like some extra cheeky guidance. And for those of you who don't like the cursing in that deck, please know that it is okay to skip that part and because it's completely optional. So let's jump into the tarot cards and see what we get. So we have Find Balance. So with this, this is the Two of Pentacles in this deck. So I feel like bringing things into a more 
clear and concise alignment and getting your balance will help you to turn that no into a yes and help strengthen your bonds and bring about new beginnings and new success because this is the ace of wands in this deck with strengthening bonds. I feel like once you're able to come back into alignment, things will start going smoothly and you will have a new start, especially <laughs> the temperance card. We have more balance. It couldn't be any more clearer and a confirmation than that for, and they're also stressing the balance in this, having a more harmonious um, bond and mind set with whatever situation is going on, I feel like it is a romantic situation and I feel like kind of coming together and putting your heads together and figuring out exactly where it is that you stand with each other and how you feel about each other is going to be what's most called for to help bring you guys into alignment and balance and to have a more peaceful uh, mindset for the both of you because we have the five of swords and it says win or lose. So with this, I feel it's more of an Ace of Swords energy instead of the Five of Swords energy where it's like you're fighting a losing battle and you're just going to give up and walk away. Don't do that. If you want success with this, you got to put the work in, you got to get together, and you got to get that balance back into into alignment for um, yourself and for those who are in a love relationship. If this is in life in general, I feel like there needs to be a healthy... Um, a healthy balance coming back into alignment for your head over your heart and a balance between the two kind of like a happy medium is what I'm getting with this because I'm really attracted to the heart and the hands coming together with this so I feel like for the love-based relationships with this coming together with your partner and having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations and saying exactly what it is that you want or need from each other is also what's most called for so that you don't have the the uh, needless arguments so that you don't have to give up and walk away because that's just going to leave it as, as a no. And I know you guys want to have this as a yes and have success with your um, love life and your life in general. So I feel like having a healthy balance and deciding exactly what it is that you most want and need out of anything and everything with this is what's most called for. So let's get some extra guidance to help you with that. So we have exceeding expectations. So I feel like once you're able to achieve this balance and this peace, you know, this peace of mind, I feel like it's going to exceed your expectations with this, the overwhelming success of this. And you're going to be on top of the world with this is what I get. And you are just going to be living large and in charge. And it's just going to have so much growth and expansion as well. And then with the card reads, it says, I soar into excellence. So if you want to keep that as a positive kind of like thought or affirmation, please go ahead and do so. And then we have looking deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. So with this, I feel like going within is going to help you regain that balance and find what you most need for your answers to help you with this. And I feel like within you is going to be a hidden gem of an aha moment that you really didn't think about before. That was there this entire time, but somehow you kind of overlooked it, it seems. Alrighty. So we have making a difference. I feel once you've done all this, it will make such a difference and it will allow you to be able to be more open with your partner and be able to say exactly what you need and speak things into existence as well for those who are not in a love relationship and who would like to bring their manifestation power and game quite up a notch is what I feel with this. And I also feel like if you live it, breathe it, feel it and believe it, it is what's most called for for this to help things have a successful outcome and turn that no into a yes. And then the card reads, my inner light shines far and wide. So with this, I feel like there is going to be much major expansion with this. And is it is going to help you reach for the stars because the sky is the limit for you is what I get with this. So for some overall guidance for the entire reading, we have forgive and forget. So with this, I feel like if you've had kind of like arguments with your partner where you felt like you were fighting a losing battle and you just couldn't seem to kind of come to terms or like make an even compromise and have that balance of give, equal give and take. I feel like 
forgive and let it go is what I'm getting. And I'm kind of like, all right, there was something else that I wanted to say that popped into my head. And I'm like, all right, what was the saying? Because it's important. And I'm like, agree to disagree, basically. And that way you can forgive and move on is what I get with this. Alrighty. So. Then we have shine your light. So with this, I feel like if you're able to come to terms and compromise with your um partner and able to forgive and let, um you know, forgive and let live is what I keep getting in my head and they keep it just, it's repeating in my head and I'm like, all right, fine. I'll say it. <laughs> Sorry. Forgive and let live shine your light. For me, I feel like once you're able to be more open about things, I feel like everything will be more clearer and things will be able to go a lot smoother and you will see the brighter side of things come together and everything will just start to be in harmonious balance with that. And then we have trust the divine plan. So listen to your intuition, follow what you're being shown and your aha moments and your ideas and whatever messages that you're getting from your guides and your angels already. And I feel like everything is also working out in divine timing and that you will have the um, success that you uh, ultimately desire because I feel like taking the time right now is what's most needed as well because the journey is what's going to help you with your lessons at this time because that is why you might be feeling a little bit stuck and why everything seems to be kind of like, all right, I need a break. When's it going to happen? That type of thing. Alrighty. And then we have live life to the fullest. Enjoy every moment of this and be thankful for all of the lessons and blessings that have come through with this. And you will be able to look back at this and finally see exactly why you had to go through what you had to go through, what you're going through right now in hindsight. And that is kind of how we see where we've been and how just how far we've come and how successful we are and we can tend to actually use those lessons in the future as well as life experience and guidance to help us get through further situations when we feel stuck all over again. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed them and that they resonated. Please remember to take what does and whatever doesn't leave it on the floor. So I will see you in just a second for the rebel deck messages if you choose to stick around. So Thank you so much, and I will see you next video for those who choose to skip the Rubble Deck messages. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let's jump into these Rubble Deck messages and see what we get. I just want to take a moment while I'm shuffling to say thank you guys so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes because you guys have been absolutely wonderful and amazing, especially with my most recent videos. One of them has, within the past three weeks, reached 21K. I am, like, so blown away by you guys. You guys are so awesome. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me and for subscribing to my channel. You guys have made my day so much, especially with all your lovely comments, because I, I do read every single one of them. I also like to say thank you so much for all of your suggestions in my um, community posts. If you guys would like to take and book a personal reading with me to help have some expansion on any burning questions that you might um, have, I do have a community post in there with all of my um, rates and my uh, options for my readings. If you'd like to go ahead and take a look through my community posts, it will be there. And it also has all the information that you need to know in order to book with me as well for all the services that I have. Alrighty. So let's see what we get for this cheeky guidance. Also, I would like to say a big thank you to all those who have donated to my channel in the past couple weeks with the donation button. You guys have been so wonderful and I appreciate it so much. And all those who have booked with me already, thank you so much for booking with me. You guys have been amazing, and I love you all. Whoop, that's two. And then let's get one more.
Also, at the end of the month, before I forget, I will be making a community post of a screenshot of all the comments that have stood out the most to me and doing the monthly shout outs at that time in the community posts. I'm like, all right, I'm not getting anything. Dang it. <laughs> We'll take those two. Why not? All right. So we have check yourself. You're playing with fire. So with this, think before you leap is what comes to mind as, as to what I get from this card. So basically be mindful of your thoughts and be mindful of your um, words and actions as well. Think before you speak as well as think before you act. All righty. And then we have keep that shit to yourself i love being criticized said no one ever so what i hear with this is if you don't have something nice to say please don't say it at all Alrighty, it's as simple and cut and dry as that with that one is what i get and then we have go on a real fucking date smell good and get your sexy on so Step out of your comfort zone and go for it if you really want to. I mean, even if it's not a date, just have fun. Go out. Do something. Live a little. Breathe a little. It'll do you some good is what I get. I know I need to get out. Shoot, I've been in the house all day for the past two days. Ugh. And my allergies are killing me. Even though it's the dead of winter and it's super freaking cold up here in New York. Like, ugh. Make me want to stay in bed all day. <laughs> but anyway, we have watch what you say. That mouth of yours could start some shit. <laughs> so be careful with what you say, as I said before, and think before you speak. These are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed them and that you enjoyed this video. For all those who are new here to my channel, just coming across my videos, Go ahead and please consider subscribing and hitting that subscribe button down below and maybe even the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on my latest videos. Alrighty, that's it. I will see you guys next video. I love you all and thank you so much for watching and for liking my video. Have a blessed one.